In this scientific paper titled, Shear Thinning from Bond Orientation in Model Unentangled Bottlebrush Polymer Melts, the authors investigate the rheology of bottlebrush polymers using molecular dynamic simulations. Bottlebrush polymers are a type of branched polymer composed of a linear backbone and multiple side chains grafted to it. The architecture of bottlebrush polymers is characterized by the length of the backbone, the length of the side chains, and the spacing between the side chains. The authors aim to understand the shear thinning behavior of different bottlebrush architectures, from linear chains to combs, to densely grafted bottlebrushes, to star-like and star polymers. The introduction begins by highlighting the challenges in controlling the rheology of molecular brushes due to their complex length scales and relaxation processes. The authors emphasize the importance of understanding the molecular conformation of bottlebrush polymers during flow, which is difficult to directly observe experimentally. Therefore, they employ molecular dynamics simulations to gain insights into the shear thinning behavior and molecular alignment of different bottlebrush architectures. The authors discuss the influence of the architectural parameters on the shape and size of bottlebrush polymers. They explain that the length of the backbone, the length of the side chains, and the grafting density determine the rigidity, stiffness, and overall shape of the bottlebrush polymers. Different architectural compositions lead to tunable mechanical and thermal properties of bottle brushes, making them suitable for various applications in fields such as biomedical sciences, soft robotics, adhesives, and sensors. The introduction also highlights the unique rheological behavior of polymer melts, including shear thinning, which is the phenomenon of viscosity reduction under shear flow. The authors note that shear thinning in branched polymers is governed by multiple length scales and relaxation times, resulting in complex rheology that is not easily predictable based on molecular architecture. They emphasize the challenges in synthesizing and characterizing branched polymers, which necessitate computational studies to gain insights into their flow properties. The authors provide an overview of previous experimental and computational studies on the rheological properties of bottlebrush polymers including their viscoelasticity, shear-induced crystallinity, and shear thinning behavior. They mention how these studies have shed light on the effects of architectural parameters on the melt rheology of bottle brushes, including the relaxations of side chains and backbones, the increase in zero shear viscosity with backbone length, and the transition from star-like to bottlebrush-like structures. The introduction concludes by highlighting the remaining challenges in experimentally observing the molecular orientation of bottle brushes during flow. The authors emphasize the importance of computational studies in precisely determining the architectural and shape effects of bottle brush polymers on their flow properties. They state that their simulations provide molecular insights into the bond and chain configuration changes under shear flow which are crucial for predicting and controlling the rheology of bottlebrush polymer melts in different architectural regimes. Shows the different architectural configurations studied in this work. The authors investigated the rheology of unentangled bottlebrush polymer melts with various architectures, including linear chains, comb polymers, densely grafted bottlebrushes, star-like bottlebrushes, and star polymers. These architectures were chosen to represent different combinations of backbone length, NBB, side chain length, NSC, and spacing between grafted side chains, M. The length of the backbone, the length of the side chains, and the grafting density are key molecular parameters that determine the shape and size of bottlebrush polymers. The figure also shows representative snapshots of a single bottlebrush chain and a linear chain at the lowest and highest shear rates. At high shear rates, the simulated architectures become elongated and aligned with the flow, while at low shear rates, they become more globular in shape. Presents the shear viscosities of the different architectures as a function of shear rate. The viscosity data demonstrate shear thinning behavior for all systems, with a decrease in viscosity as the shear rate increases. The authors fit the data with an exponential model, eta equals kgn minus 1, where eta is the viscosity, G is the shear rate, K is the flow consistency index, and N is the shear thinning exponent. The shear thinning exponents for all architectures are listed in Table 2. The values of N range between 0 and 1, with smaller values indicating stronger shear thinning. Linear chains exhibit the strongest shear thinning behavior, while densely grafted bottle brushes show the weakest shear thinning. This observation suggests that the packing of side chains in densely grafted bottle brushes prevents their alignment with the flow direction, 
leading to reduced shear thinning. Demonstrates the correlation between the predicted value of bond orientation at high shear rate, a, and the shear thinning exponent, n. The inverse linear relation between a and n indicates that the shear thinning increases when the bonds align more with the flow. Displays the radius of gyration and the diagonal components of the gyration tensor as a function of shear rate. The radius of gyration squared, Rg2, is calculated as the trace of the gyration tensor and represents the overall size and shape of the polymer chains. The x component of the gyration tensor, Gxx, represents the extension of the chains in the shear direction, while the y and z components, Gyy and Gzz, represent the compression of the chains in the gradient and vorticity directions, respectively. The data show that all architectures exhibit an extension in the flow direction and compression in the gradient and vorticity directions as the shear rate increases. Linear chains show the highest increase in RG2 and GXX, while star polymers show the lowest increase. The compression along the vorticity direction, indicated by the decrease in GZZ, is more prominent for linear chains. Overall, the conformational changes observed in the gyration tensor components are consistent with the shear thinning behavior of the different architectures. Presents the Spearman correlation coefficient between different parameters. The correlation matrix shows the correlations between the shape parameters and the viscosity, as well as the correlations between the shape parameters themselves. The red block in the middle of the map corresponds to high correlations among the shape parameters derived from the gyration tensor eigenvalues. The data indicate that the shape parameters derived from the gyration tensor do not strongly correlate with shear thinning behavior. In contrast, the bond orientation parameter, P2, shows a strong negative correlation with viscosity, indicating that the alignment of individual bonds with the flow direction is the key factor influencing shear thinning in the different architectures. The study investigates the shear thinning behavior of unentangled bottlebrush polymer melts with varying architectures including linear chains, combs, densely grafted bottle brushes, and star-like and star polymers. The authors use molecular dynamic simulations to analyze the shape and orientation of the bottle brushes during steady-state flow. They find that shear thinning is influenced by the orientation of individual bonds rather than the overall molecular alignment. Densely grafted bottle brushes exhibit the least shear thinning due to the packing of side chains preventing alignment with the flow. The study provides valuable insights into the molecular configurations and rheological behavior of bottlebrush polymer melts, which can be utilized to control their rheology for various applications. If you are an author or copyright holder for the work presented in this video and you have any issue with the existence or contents of this video, please let me know.